four, take 28. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to work in my chakra journal. Now, it's a round journal, um, and I cut all these pieces myself, drew out the circle and trimmed them and stuff, and I used chipboard, and then I bound it with a uh, cinch. Anyway, the first page there was uh, the root chakra, and this is the sacral, and today we're going to work on solar chakra. Mm -mm -mm. So you'll, uh, it's almost pretty much in real time, almost. As it's a very uh, simple journal process process on this, so I'm not trying to be too cluttered or any of that. I am going to use that there uh, golden fiber paste and that there tulip stencil. I'm not sure what the name of this stencil. I think it has, just has a number, a number, which will be in uh, the description box below. And I'm, I use, um, what is that, saran wrap, plastic wrap, uh, over the top of the jar before I put the lid on. And that keeps it from sticking. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to line that all up, and I'm going to use some washi tape to uh, stick that down. I stuck a piece of deli uh, paper between my, uh, my page and my desk surface there. Not that I'm worried about cleaning it, because I'm not, but, you know, stirred it around a little bit with my palette tool and just smear it on the fiber paste. Trying to keep the, uh, the blade there at a 45 degree angle will help keep it from being smooshed up underneath the uh, fine lines of the stencil. I said help. I didn't say totally stop it. Okay. <laughs> So, any hoodles, uh, this page really only took me about um, 20, 25 minutes. Of course, that doesn't include drying time, although drying time was uh, short because fiber paste dries pretty quick on these pages of, uh, what is this, um, heavy watercolor paper, I think it is, pretty sure, almost positive. Mm -hmm. So I'm just scraping off some of the extra fiber paste around the edge. Some of it's sticking up a little higher than I would like it to. So I'm dipping my uh, tool over there into the water and tapping down the parts that are sticking way up. And if any is sticking to my tool, I'm just wiping it off on my little uh, paint rag over there that you can't see. And I am going to use the heat gun on this. And uh, I also recommend that you uh, dry it from the back as well. Uh, the first color is a yellow, because your solar is typically known with a yellow color. You know, solar sun. It's going to dangle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, because now the texture is pretty rough, I'm. Uh, just scumbling the brush around uh, trying to make sure I'm getting all the little crevices and ditty dots and stuff and this is a long handle brush which is why it's <laughs> it looks so funny in the camera it looks funny to me and it's just so you know just my typical crappy brush so, there we go. and craft paint and like I said earlier there will be a list of ingredients in the description box below did I say that earlier I might have. If not, there will be a list of ingredients in the description box below the video. Click on the word more to see more. <laughs> how convenient is that word? So I'm just smooshing it around. I thought, well, I don't know how much more paint I'm going to need. So I put it on my little uh, styrofoam palette there. Just brush it around. I guess I could have sped it up a little more. It does get a little monotonous, doesn't it? Tedious? No, not tedious. Anyway, I could have used a bigger brush, but I think I would have spent more time trying to go back over and fill in the little divots and stuff because I really did want to uh, color all of it yellow and not leave any little white specks. So there we go. We just keep doing it and doing it. Then doing it some more. 
You can also color your uh, fiber paste uh, with your paint. I would use a, a highly pigmented, uh, probably a heavy body paint as well. Because so, you don't want to water down your fiber paste too much. Not really, because the whole point of it is to get a fibery texture, right? Right, and uh, because fiber paste is white, keep that in mind if you mix it with your paint that it will lighten your paint. And in the cases of reds, it may make it look pinkish, all right, or blue, light blue, you know. Y'all know how paint mixing works? So we're almost done with this color. I'm picking out some, some little hairs or fuzz balls or something every now and again. Which is why you see my brush doing weird things. And we're just pretty much done with the light yellow. Any second. Oh, heat gun! I mean, heat tool. Because, you know, new words got to be careful of anything that suggests anger and war and injury and stuff like that. That's a heat tool, y'all. Heat tool. And I'm going to use some delusions. And I am just using the two different yellows. And I think this one is lemon zest. And I'm going around the outside. Trailer park girls go around the outside. Around the outside. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just funny to me. Whatever. So there I go. And I'm just doing the same brush uh, movements there. Kind of going around little circle, circlets. And... Uh, I get my darker yellow all the way around and then I will go back to my lighter yellow to uh, blend them into uh, a softer division line there so that it's not quite such. Oh, look, here's a line. <laughs> Any hoodles? I hope everyone's been doing well. Mm -hmm. That's what my hope is. As I just keep putting on some darker yellow. And I'm not using a whole lot. I'm not putting a whole lot on the brush. Because this Delusions is. It's some pretty robust colors. Uh huh. Just saying. Because it's true. Now I'm wiping some of that off on my paint rag over there. Because now I'm getting to the. I want to try to blend them together a little more better. With the hair. So I picked that off with the brush. It's the easiest way to pick it up. And uh. I'll be dipping my uh, brush in the water to get some of that darker yellow out. Oh, wait, there's a little spot over there. Let me cover that. Using my finger. It's one of the best tools you have. You wouldn't want to keep scrubbing it around on too much texture because, you know, you can't get a blister on your finger. I'm just saying. I don't know how I know that, but, you yeah, know, it can happen. So rinse my brush out, and I'm going back to my pale yellow, and I'm going to blend out that line so that it's not quite such a deliberate line. And every once in a while, if, if my brush should happen to disappear over there on the right, it's because I'm wiping off the excess um, darker yellow. Can't really say dark yellow because it's not dark. It's a light color. Yellow's light. And um, that's what I'm doing. It's very repetitive. It's almost um, almost zen-like. And uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, heat tool. Heat tool, y'all. <laughs> Doesn't have quite the same zing to it, does it? So this is uh, Liquitex Matte Medium. And I'm going to put that on there. And I put a little too much on there. And I get rid of some of the excess later off camera. Because you really don't need to see that. Because you probably really didn't necessarily need to see this much of this. But I have sped up uh, portions of this video. Not too many. Just a few. Because we end up with quite like 13 and a half minutes. From like 20, 25 minutes. So, you know. And now I'm bringing out a gold metallic uh, gel pen of no name origins <laughs> and I'm just going around the texture uh, the texture the fiber paste lines you know where it's kind of bumped at and every once in a while I do get um, 
a little happy with the pen work and get a little joggly line here and a little joggly line there. And I show you towards the endish, which we're approaching because we're at th uh, 10 minutes. So we only got like, you know, a little over three minutes left. And hurry up, hurry up, go around, go around it and go around it. And it's hard, well, it's hard to see on my little screen. And photo montage, there's the yellows are going to appear two different colors because of where I was focusing the camera, you know, so that you could hopefully see the gold uh, gel ink a little better. Oh, and you want to make sure that all that uh, uh, matte medium is dry. You want it to be dry before you do any pen work on here, all right? All right. It just goes to show you that you don't have to be overly uh, product usage to end up with a nice page. So here I'm squirting some, um, was it 90% alcohol, you know, isoproso, isopoco, <laughs> isonic alcohol, you know, the rubbing alcohol kind, not the drinking kind. And I'm going over the uh, lines that I got um, that didn't make me quite so happy. I'm erasing those with this little brush. You can also do it with um, a paper towel that's got a little alcohol on it. But use caution because alcohol will remove uh, fresh acrylic paint. And that's the reason why I'm using the small paintbrush. I'm just dabbling little bits here and there, and I am wiping that, the, the ink off onto a paper towel that you can't see either because I know I'm off center. I'm a little out of balance. Ah, that's not literal, okay? <laughs> so there we go. And uh, yeah, the other one was the paper towel. You saw the paper towel. And I think I'm about done. I'm going to dry it with my hand by fanning it back and forth. Oh, wait. I'm going to add a little more ink over here. Over there. <laughs> We're almost done. We're going to be into the photo montage. And it is just a short little photo montage. And I sure appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys, y'all. I appreciate y'all spending your time with me. And I uh, appreciate all your comment love your likes, your shares, and your views. Oh, and you're subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at this time. I appreciate it so much, each and every one of y'all. And uh, see, there's a darker yellow. That's just the, the amount of yellow the camera picked up. And then here's another one. It picked up the lighter color, but you can see the gold gel ink a little better in that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Disclaimer screen coming up. <laughs> Thanks for watching and happy art, y'all.